Welcome to show 128 for February 11th, 2010. I'm Dan Doherty, the host of this fantastic daily show here at edan.com. I'm also the CEO and founder of tiptopwebsite.com, where you can create your own website online in 60 seconds. Package to start only $1 a month. Use the promo code Dan. That's right. Use my name at sign up, D-A-N, and I'll give you a free domain on any package. Tell your friends to use that promo code too. Let's jump into the news. Google Buzz. Everyone's buzzing about Google Buzz. What is it? It's a new social networking trying to take down Facebook. Well, you know, Facebook tried to take down MySpace and actually did a pretty good job of it. Facebook has about 400 million users now. They're saying about 150 million people log into it every day. Google Buzz. Well, first of all, buzz, I looked at a buzz.com. Let me move this around here. Buzz.com is taken. It looks like AT&T owns that. So I can't believe that Google would use the name Buzz. They want everyone to buzz about it. Uh, that could be, I guess, you know. But I can't believe they didn't uh, get the name Buzz before they... I would have named it something different. Buzz.com looks like it's owned by AT&T. Looks like it's a new social networking thing, too. People are going to get very confused. So Google's... What they're, they're, they're integrating this in Gmail. So if you have Gmail, you'll automatically... Uh, be able to add all your friends with one click because you already have your contacts in your Gmail. They try to make it so easy for you. You'll be able to add your Twitter account and this account and that account all into one. And if you want to share your photos with your friends or your videos, you just push uh, 72 buttons and then your friends log in to four different accounts to look at the video behind a password protection and then they can look at the pictures in small size or you have, they have an option at six different sizes looking in different sizes. If it sounds like nonsense, it is because my frustration with these social networks things are just ridiculous. If someone wants to send me a picture, send me a picture. I have a cousin of mine that builds components for NASA. I mean, the guy is one of the smartest guys in the world. My uncle started the company. They've got hundreds of people for, working for them building components. The guy went to uh, you know, um, it's college for this, but has created all these things on his own that NASA and MIT can't figure out. So they call my cousin and have him do it. So when he wants to send me pictures, you know what he does? He emails me the pictures. And this guy is one of the smartest guys in the world on every level, especially tech, and he emails me the pictures. We have a great relationship. I have a picture, I email it to him, or I put it on my kid's website, and I, they have a website with Tip Top website, and I just send them the page. And some of the pictures I put behind password protection, you know, it's just a one-letter password, it's a one-word password protection that I can do in the member section. And I tell all my relatives, by the way, here's the password. They don't have to create an account, the seed, or anything like that. They don't have to type in, you know, uh, different capture codes. You know, those weird symbols you see you have to type in and make sure it says, make sure you're a human. It's ridiculous. And when I want someone to see a video, well, what I do is I shoot the video on my camera, and then I upload it to YouTube or upload it to a Tip Top website, and then I put it right on the homepage. So if, like, my kids have a great baseball game, what I'll do is maybe take – uh, I've two boys, and uh, let's say I use a, a three, four minute video, right? If you want to show your relatives as much as they, you know, you want everyone to see your kids, your relatives see your kids. Listen, maybe your relatives don't want to see a 30 minute video of your kids, but two, three minutes, of course they'll watch. So maybe I'll take a, if a four minute video, let's just use four minute, use a round number here. Two minutes of my one son, two minutes of my other son, and I'll put the video together in one video, and I'll put it right on their homepage or their website and send the link out. And all they have to do is go to the website, it automatically starts playing, right? And if, you, know, you could do this right on YouTube, and YouTube gives you the embed codes for high definition, put it right on your tip-top website, and that's it. So if people get an email, what I do is I have an email list of all my relatives, you know, aunts and uncles and cousins, and I just say, hey, check out my boys playing baseball. Boom, send. That's it. They click the link and the video starts. How, how fantastic is that? Now, yes, it could be on YouTube, but I changed Tip Top website. I changed their I changed their page to make it look really cool, and I you know put their baseball pictures up at the top, and they don't see all these ads and all that stuff. It's just they want to get on, look at the video, and get off, and they reply back to me. They reply back to my email. They don't have to log into their Facebook and make comments and this and that. Well, Google Buzz, so you know my feelings on that. It's gonna be the same as Facebook type thing. I don't get the obsession with it that people spend hours on this when the communication device is email works fantastic and people that you know 400 million people may be a lot of people 
But there's billions of people on the internet. And if 150 million active users, let's say a day, so let's say Facebook realistically has 200 million active users, that's a very small percentage of the internet. The majority of the internet is still uses email. So don't get wrapped up in this buzz and think, well, geez, I've got a Facebook account, a MySpace account, and now I've got to get a buzz account because it's going to hook into all these other accounts. You're just going to make it more complicated for people to look at your photos and videos and anything you want to share with them. Send them an email. Send them directly to your website. Or, you know, on your website, you can just say, hey, check back every Friday, and I'm going to have a new video. Or check back every Friday, and I'm going to have new pictures. Make it easy for them, okay? This other nonsense, I just... But that's the Buzz and Google Buzz, and it looks like they don't even own the domain name Buzz.com, which is a great domain name. doesn't mean, you know, Google has to own it, but maybe they should have called it something else. I want to tell you about Windows 7. This is running Windows 7, my other computer, my other laptop, still running uh, Vista. But this is Windows 7, and when I got this, I didn't like the themes. It uh, only gives you so many different options. If you have Windows 7, you can simply go on your desktop, uh, desktop right-click, and choose personalize, and you can choose the themes. The themes means like the wallpaper and the way the toolbar looks and all those kind of things. So they give you a few options, very limited. But if you go to Microsoft, and I'll give you the link in the show notes. So if you're looking at the show on the website, just scroll down. And if you're looking at the show on iTunes or somewhere else online, just go to edn.com and click on this show. Okay. And this is a way to get, like, for example, I'm looking at you got download, uh, uh, Valentine's themes, Bing search, which is fantastic. I have, um, they give you like, you know, 50 Bing uh, wallpapers and you can they just rotate. I just picked the one I like. Zoom Tiger, or they tell you how to make your own theme. How cool is that? Make your own theme. So this is fantastic. I'll put a link in the show notes. And of course, it's free. This is very cool that Microsoft does this instead of using some third-party applications or someone else building it that you don't know if it's a virus or stuff. You download it directly from the Microsoft website so you know it's cool. All right, that's the show. I will see you tomorrow. You got my reaction on this new social networking buzz. I just think these things are crazy. Get a website at tiptopwebsite.com. Use the promo code Dan. That's my name, D-A-N. Use that promo code at sign up, and I'll give you a free domain. I will see you tomorrow on Friday. All right, thanks for watching.